Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Carl Franz and let's talk remember too. And last time we confederated Hockland and Averland. And we should get a confederation offer from Sterland any time now, considering we turned down their confederation option about the same time we did Averland. So that should pop up any turn now. And we are running a little bit low on Imperial Authority if we want to keep confederating people, because I am probably gonna, gonna accept the offer of confederating Sterland. But I really want to confederate Midland as well, and they can pop any time now. They just need to roll that 5% once. So I really want to be ready for that. So we're just going to keep pumping all of our prestige into the Emperor's Edict. Just to keep uh, keep our uh, Imperial Authority up. And Oh! Uh, okay, it went up 2 for some reason. I mean... I'll take it. <laughs> I'm not going to complain about it, but I don't understand it. But yeah, sure. Seven is great. That means we can uh, confederate Sterland and confederate Midland. We, I want to get to a point where we can do Ostland as well, because they are really strong. Um, honestly, Ostermark do doesn't really matter anymore, because they only have two settlements. And Nordland also only have two settlements, but at least it's in the same province. But I kind of just want to keep them around as the like, as the Night's Watch. <laughs> they they uh, they safeguard a little bit from the north. They can uh, be a bit annoying to the Norskans, and that's very helpful to me. So I'm fine with them sticking around. My biggest is just I want Midland because I want Toddy, uh, and I want Osland because they are pretty big. Although. They are pretty good to have around, because if they start attacking here, I mean, I don't care about this. They're gonna start raising it and stuff. And Kislev and Ostermark is probably gonna, or Ostland is probably gonna settle it. So it doesn't matter too much to me if they raise this, but... Either way, Midland and Sterland are probably next on the, on the Confederation block. But before we start doing anything, we have some battles to fight. Because Balthasar is in range of this guy, and he's in March Stance, or... Drakar, as it is on sea for Norskans. But before we do, we're... No, wait, that's that's not the right guy. That's the right guy. We're gonna get, get rid of that garbage archer and get a Hockland Long Rifle. Because they are pretty good. They have really good range. Yeah, about decent damage, but as long as they're out of range of enemies, they do extra damage and they shoot faster with longer range. So they can be real good. But for now, actually, we should level as well. Um, oh, we can get Quicksilver. Oh, I do like Quicksilver. Although he is already on a horse, so he's pretty good at navigating over to to a side and cast stuff. But Quicksilver is so much faster and he doesn't have to ride through a thing. So let's just get Quicksilver because he's great. And you got three skill points. And what do we want to give you? Kinda just want the retinue, but the this one is pretty okay. Basically fair to everything, but even to things that's resistant to fair. Um although all of these are pretty mediocre. But it doesn't have anything great here except for slippery. So let's just give him this. We can make characters worse, but let's just give him reload time reduction. You are Oh, you are terribly leveled. You should be ashamed. Um, I have not paid attention to what you got, so... Um, I guess we're just buffing this, maybe? Or actually... I kinda wanna just give him tanky skills. Because he needs to survive so we can get in the middle of and soul fire when he can. And this guy is just start going towards the officer squad. There we go. So, poorly leveled characters, but at least they are better now. You already have one of the boardmen, and I don't think you need more. Maybe you do, but we're gonna be fine with this for now. We should be alright in this combat. Because it was mostly just infantry, and we are absolutely great against infantry. We have bordermen, we have mortars, and great swords. So, this is gonna be easy peasy. 
Okay, so... The mortars, they can be there, that's fine. They're within range for the infantry right away, so that's excellent. The rest of you, let's just put you to the side for now. Uh, uh, come on. Ah, uh, why, why do you have to make this so hard for me? Okay. Now, dang it, I just want to make this easier. There we go. So, let's... Okay, start deployment. We have plenty of wins. First, I want to put the long rifles right there so they can... Actually... Yeah, okay, this is just visual. It doesn't actually block. So I can put you there. The mortars are gonna shoot over, no problem. We'll put some great swords there and great swords there. A little bit of a window is fine. We'll put some great swords there. Some halberds there. We'll put the spears on the edges. Um, Um, which side do we think they'll overload? They seem to have more stuff on this side, so let's just put up like so. And one of the spare units. And this guy, this side gets a spare unit. Excellent. And then we have... Which side has more horses? There's only one there, there's two there. Weren't there four? Maybe it's only two. Well, that's fine. We'll put the Huntsmen right there, so they can shoot at the horses. Crossbowmen, Bordermen, and Outriders. You can stand right there and start shooting at stuff right away. And Ogre and... Um, ogre. There we go. Alright, and characters. Hang out there, hang out there, hang out there, hang out there. Fine, good. So, you can start shooting at these Marauder Hunters. And let's shoot with... Do you have any champions? I don't think you had any champions. Just great weapons. Yeah. So, shoot at the shielded guys, I guess. You can shoot there. Oh, and you need to pull away from these. Lure them into the front line, that would be great. So just, just, just keep away. We can fast forward a little bit until... Oh, and the Hochland long rifles already started shooting because they have some insane range. And they have actually, actually pretty good damage once they just... As long as they have their ability. So we can start shooting as well because everyone should be shooting at these guys now. I don't think you have to move in. Oh, fine. Who am I to tell you what to do? I'm just... I'm just your general. But don't listen to me. But they should die really quick. <laughs> Especially with the Borderman just landing every single grenade simultaneously. That was... that was beautiful. I love it. So, you can start shooting at these guys. Just get some shots off. And how are we doing on the flanks? Just fine. They're still far away. Uh, get some good volleys off there. Excellent. No rush. And you can start pulling back a little bit. And we are getting a little bit surrounded. So I think we're just gonna set you up there as a backline firing piece. Which is gonna be fine. And I'm gonna wait until things bunch up a little bit more before starting casting. Because we're doing great. Especially with this grenade fire here. Beautiful. Can we get another vault? Oh. Well, um, we have things we need to do about that. Um, okay. You should start shooting there. Ogres shoot at that too. Because that's no good. But he should die pretty quick there. Okay, so now we have some spells to cast. Let's start by having a look at this. Beautiful. And let's see the hounds rip through these guys. Excellent. Oh, they're starting to move into our... Ow! Bastards. Okay, that's, that's okay. Buff them. That wasn't great, but that's okay. Um, he is 
utterly, utterly shattered. Very good. Uh, we can get a curse of rust there. Should be fine. Shoot over there. Oh, actually, you are shooting on something that you should be shooting. Good. Okay, okay. So, we should need this to get off cooldown please there we go yes, this is gonna be great i should tell the boardman to shoot something good as well but i just i just want to see molten molten metal rain on top of those guys excellent you guys actually we're doing pretty well everything is dying excellently let's get you in there and get a buff up there Sword guys, get in there. These guys are dying. Although, those guys are dying too, which isn't great. Start shooting over there. You need to rotate and start helping over there. We're fine over here. But, another golden hounds over here shouldn't be bad. Excellent. That should wrap them off real quick. Real good. This is fine. Just rotate the front line to help these help against these marauders. Start shooting over there. These guys shoot over there. And this should route off real fast. So these guys took a lot of damage, but Yeah. They have lost a lot more health than models, but they are losing models really fast, and we need everything to route so they stop dying. But that's that's that. Good. Okay, so we didn't take too much damage. Oh, and we should have probably divvy these out, but yeah, that wouldn't have mattered at all. They didn't have magic and they didn't have flyers, so that's fine. We don't need the money. We're making great money and we have a nice little stockpile. You can actually start moving over there. You don't get there soon enough though, but that's okay. Two turns is a-okay. And I guess you can level a little bit more. Ooh, negative enemy leadership in region is pretty good. Oh, but we're going down this thing. Right. So get that. We'll get this thing. And then you can have Notorious. So. You. Kind of need to protect us from this. But they're not going to be able to take uh, Marienburg. Like, the garrison is decent. And we have walls, so this is gonna be a terrible army against our walls. They're gonna have to siege for a little bit, and this guy can go and relieve. We just need a little bit more replenishment over here. And any of these give replenishment? Because you just need a, some goddamn replenishment. This is terrible. Um. Well. Let's just keep going down this this line then. Make you a better fighter. That's fine. And you. You have officer squad. That's great. Let's give you... Wait. You don't have a horse? I have a barded boar horse. And let's give you some attack. Because your middle defense is through the roof. Excellent. There we go. Oh. And I think that's... I think that's Averland. Yeah. Okay. So, let's just... Let's get some public order because you're missing some. And let's get some... Hmm. We already have industry. Is this any good? Well, it's gonna be pretty alright when we get Sterling. So, let's just get some paved road to get more money from the surrounding area. And... Let's upgrade that and that so we can get demographs. Good. Okay, so. Oh! Ah, that's what I thought. So, we are definitely confederating Sterland. We can still Your confederate one more without further. going into the negative. Shut up. So. Oh, and Bray Herds. Well, it's only for five turns, so it's a little bit annoying, but that is fine. Okay, stop. Stop popping a thing up. So, we are still making a lot of money, but I don't think we're keeping this army. 
But I think we do get a new army. And we should probably put anything there. Hey, we can get some some crossbowmen. You got a ha fancy hat, you can so hang out there. I don't really care who, because... Actually, um, I don't remember... Volkmar should be able to be a guy, right? A, a guy, a... Um, a uh, electric count. But, yeah. Um, I think we're gonna get rid of all of you. What? We might use these crossbowmen, which is why I don't uh, disband the entire army. Because we are gonna get Volkmar. There we go. And let's see. Any of these? I mean, could get these. But I think I'd rather give it to someone who's out in the field right now. Because they can use it as like emergency recruitment. But you're definitely getting four Sigmarite Disciples. Let's give you some swordsmen. Maybe three. Yeah, that's fine. Big, big old front line. Let's give you two handgunners. Um, oh, definitely some hell blasters. Yes. Blast the hell out of them. And something else. Actually, we're getting... We can get two characters. Oh, actually, we can also get uh, some damn wizards. Let's get you a battle wizard. Any... Oh, knowledgeable. Always good to have. Helps everyone. Yeah, let's just get a... No, okay. Uh, it was... It was another shadow. That's okay. He'll be there in like five turns. That's fine. Because that's about how long we're gonna take with this anyway. So we're also gonna get a warrior priest. Of course. And yeah, I guess we get a confident. That's fine. Let's just pump you with some defenses. And we'll get a Empire Captain. Huh, these aren't great. I guess you... Because we can make them incredibly tanky, so some extra damage isn't terrible. Because we can just do like that. And there. There, get some more defense and Woodmaker. Oh, dang it. And hold the line. There we go. And we didn't level you. You don't get your fucking Pope mobile until 16. So, first of all, all of those, because those are insanely strong. Um, and I'm not sure that you'll get to 16. Like, you have to fight a couple of battles for that. And um, I don't know how many battles we'll get with Volkmar, so let's put him on a Bard Steed for now. Root Marcher. And then just make him deadly. And hold the line. Good. Excellent. So that's 16 with all characters and all of those. And those crossbowmen. Excellent. I think that's a good army. You can... Let's move you up like there to just see if they have anything there. Because I don't think we have vision... Well, now we do. Okay, there's nothing there, so you can start, keep moving up. And Emperor Karl Franz. We have a quest battle to fight with you. And we have one skill point. I mean, we should probably use our skill points before we go and fight. And I guess... Yeah, I mean, we're gonna go down this because I think this should affect our Rag's foot. So, let's go with that. And Bright Wizard should get something. Hey, cooldown for spells are good. This guy, let's just... Oh, Notorious. Notorious is good. Lower all that leadership. You can have some defense and um, health, I guess. Yeah, let's try to make these as tanky as possible, or deadly as possible, before we go and fight a battle. Yeah, that's good. 
Excellent. So, will you step outside, and please and thank you? The Empire. So, we can go and claim Galmaraz. And, I mean, this looks really easy, but there's always reinforcements. Oh, we get reinforcements. We get some Dawi friends. Hello, friends. Glad to see you. Hope you're... Hope you'll do a good job. Not gonna hold my breath though, but it should be fine. Now is the time, men of the Empire, to unite for the Orcs gather. Beyond the pass, a war boss draws to him all that is foul. An Orc horde beyond imagining. As Sigma thought, so shall we. We will become part of the legend. We will wipe the orcs from our door. And only when this is done, when our nation has healed, shall I take up Galmaraz for Sigma, for the Empire, for the Warhammer. Yeah, epic speech there, Sigmar. No, Carl. God dang it. Um. But, I mean, it was a little bit rocky at the start when you just described how terrifying and deadly your enemy is. But I'm, I'm gonna say you, you pulled it in there at the end. Although it seems a little bit like, like we're only doing this so you can have, have the fun hammer that you're so in love with. Although it is a pretty cool hammer. It, they even made a game out of it. So... Let's uh, let's do like so. That's fine. Put up a bunch of foot racks uh, right there. I'll put up you over there, and I don't know where to put the great swords, but I'm sure that's gonna be fine. We'll put the cab over there. We'll put the empire. Right. Okay, you can be looking straight ahead, actually. Let's just layer this a little bit like so. Put up some crossbowmen. No, those are handgunners. God damn it, they look the same. <laughs> or it's just me who can't tell the difference because I'm blind. They're both equally valid. Let's put you there so you can rain some some uh, death on our enemies. And you can actually just hang there. That's good. And everything is deployed. Very good. And... Wait, what? Why the shit do I have pistol ears? Um... What? <laughs> I don't understand why I have pistol ears, but... Okay, let's ride them out on the flanks and try to shoot things, I guess? I mean, I'm not gonna complain that we have extra pistol ears, but I'm... Very confused to, as to why we have them. Okay, you can stand there and shoot. And you can stand there and shoot. I just had to pause because I got very confused why we suddenly had pistol ears. But while we're paused, we're gonna shoot there. Um, we are gonna mortar over there and shoot there. That's fine. There we go. So, Reichsguard are gonna well, try to hide in the woods and just... Maybe pounce on some goblins or something. And yeah, that's that's gonna be painful for the goblins. Oof, that's a good hit. Let's start shooting at those orc boys. Maybe start shooting at those orc boys. The cannon is just gonna focus on that. On that. Oh, hello. Okay, you know what? Put on some skirmish on. Actually, no. Don't skirmish. Oh, those are arrow boys. Never mind. We can't fight arrow boys. Charge into these wolf riders. You're very, very expendable. Oh, hello. Well, you're riding into great swords, but I mean, first of all, the great swords are gonna kill you. Second of all, my right guard is gonna kill you. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, where's Carl? Kill this damn <laughs> war boss. Let's start firing into there. We can start firing into there. And hey, our, our pistoliers are doing good. Okay, these are incredibly broken. Let's start you in there. And let's 
Ow. Oh, hello goblins. Oh, you, you can die. Okay, ow. Stop blasting our own stuff. Yeah, blast over there. Oh, hello pistoliers. You are fighting something that you shouldn't be fighting, but that's okay. You are very sacrificial now anyway. Let's uh, send Carl over to that orc shaman. Yeah, okay, these these orc biggins are gonna be slaughtered. Those officer squads are fine as they are. Let's pop that just to get some extra damage. Oh yeah, kill that damn orc shaman. We can't have him running around there. Everything is dying. Very nice. Oh, Sigmar's son's got some heavy damage on him. And so did the Borderman. What happened to the Borderman? Hmm, not a fan of that. Seems like I didn't pay attention. There's nothing new, I guess. Uh, you can fire on, on that. Okay. If you're gonna be in the air, we're just gonna charge into you. Get this aerial duel going. Got one hit and he should be going down. Come on. Okay, he's... He's dead. He's not coming back. Yeah, he's shattered. Oh, you should go back home. Uh, let's uh, jump. Okay, that's not right. These goblins are a high threat to to Carl. I gotta have to to disagree on that one. Okay, so we're doing fine against this giant. He's being slaughtered by. Some very brave dwarves. Very good. Oh, we should uh, deal with this Doom Diver. They've probably done a bunch of damage to us. Yeah, 111 kills. Shit. Ooh, black orcs. Lots of black orcs. Okay, uh, let's start focusing. Ooh, lots of black orcs. Oh, dear. Okay. So we got a shaman, a bun oh Grimgore. Okay, um, I thought it was just a bunch of black orcs, but no, it's black orcs and Grimgore. And oh, the immortals as oh shit. Okay, this just got real. Okay, um, disengage, disengage. I think you broke him, kind of. No, a little bit. Okay, stay away from uh, Grimgore, please. Those uh, Reichsguard are gonna get slaughtered by Grimgore. Let's just keep firing. Oh, that's some fast black orcs. Get out of there. You're gonna die. Okay, go up and shoot. Start bombarding there. Yeah, there we go. Now we got some damage going. Oh, if you can punch up right, right here. Oh. Stand firm, little buddy. Stand firm. Come on. There we go. Yes. Fucking barbecue those black orcs in their armor. Yes. Excellent damage. And let's get some. Maybe we don't need that. But that can be good if you can just hold for a little bit longer. No, 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 don't, don't move. No. No. Okay, we did some damage with it. It's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. But we're getting a lot of firepower on them while they're running. Well, they're not running. They're advancing. Let's call it what it is. So, yeah, we're almost out of ammo on this. Oh, the Immortals are taking heavy damage from our gunners, which is great. Uh, don't shoot at Grimgore. Shoot at the Immortals. Oh, yeah, these are, these are a good target for you to chase. Put some sneaky stabbing on some, some Immortals. That is, that is deadly. Deadly. And let's grab you and shoot in there. Oh, you're out of ammo. Uh, let's get all of our 
infantry in there, including you and you. Let's stop shooting into there. Focus there. And now everything should just hard focus these black orcs. They are dying incredibly fast. Excellent. Good job. And these guys are going to have to hold it a little bit. But yeah, let's just rotate in everything. Let's see if we can get a uh, fireball on the giant. Just to make sure he doesn't come back. And everything just... Oh, okay. Kill the crimson killers. More fucking highly elite black orcs. This is terrifying. Uh, if you can shoot into those... No, okay. Let's not. Yeah, but the Crimson Killers are going down fast from our goon squad. And I think uh, Grimgor is dying real quick too. And I guess you can just go deal with this guy. But I think that's gonna be start being some um, army losses. Yeah, that's army losses. Excellent. So, it wasn't so bad. I was very surprised to see that fucking Grimgor came in and joined the fray. I thought it was gonna be a real simple, pretty easy um, quest battle, but damn if they didn't bring, bring some big guns to this. Okay, so it went really well, I would say, and damn Sunmaker! <laughs> 800 kills on the Sunmaker! That is awesome. But yeah, I was... I, like, I was not expecting this. I was expecting this plus like uh, maybe half of this army again with mostly uh, boys and biggins. I was not expecting fucking eight units of black orcs including the immortals and Grimgor himself. So that got real hairy from nowhere. Well. We are still fine, we didn't take that much damage, we mostly lost a bunch of dwarves. Which, I mean, gotta be com commendable, their, their efforts in this battle, but... I don't think they should have rushed forwards like they did. But, we're fine, we didn't even take that much damage, so... Good fight. And now we have Galmaraz. An excellent weapon, that is not called Franz. So, oh yeah, we're already equipping Galmaraz. We did already have Dragon's Tears, but yeah, not even close to as good as Galmaraz. Um, I don't think this is calculating the Galmaraz yet. No, because we should have magical attacks. So, weapon strength is going to go up a lot. And melee attack is going to go up. The, like, when you activate Galmaraz, he's going to be an absolute monster with thousand something damage. Oh yeah. This is going to be... Uh, actually, he might get up to a thousand without that. You got, uh, got the hundred armor piercing and... Ten uh, percent? No? Okay. I don't think... He's going to be a close to a thousand, but... Very high thousands when he just activates Galmaraz. So that's going to be excellent. So, uh, I guess we just keep going because we're barely injured. As long as there's nothing here, but no, it's Sarl Encampment, nothing really. A pretty strong garrison, but this army is just a bulldozer, so let's go and sit there. Go almost to full, no biggie, <laughs> just casually like so. And we got two skill points, so buff that because... Now we're definitely going to see if this affects our Imperial Foot, which it definitely should, because buffs to Ordinates, buffs Reichsguard Reichs and Imperial Foot should get benefits from the, from the Reichsguard stuff. So they should be at 132, and they are excellent. And a little bit of charge bonus, so they could get in there and get some real damage with a charge, but that armor is just going to be real dangerous. And I kind of want to go and break this, but this isn't a great uh, siege army, so there's no rush really, and we kind of need some more replenishment. And this, this is the same turn, yeah. So I think we're gonna chill for another turn, and then we might just go and sally out, but yeah. We're gonna get, grab one more turn of 
of um, um, replenishment, and I think that's gonna be good. Oh, right, we need to also get something here, and everything is just bad public order. There we go. Why do you have two forges or armories? And you don't need that. Um. Wait, doesn't that mean we should have more? Instrument of Sigmar's will. Oh, we did get a warrior priest. No, never mind. I'm... Silly me. Uh, yeah, get rid of... I guess that one. Should be fine. We have a rebellion in Mordheim, eh? We can get rid of this. This isn't helping. And... Oh, the moot. Right. Let's just grab the trade. This is a fucking industrial powerhouse, I see. Very nice. You don't have a... You do have the Grand Cauldron. I thought you had something like this, but... Yeah, we don't need that. That's fine. I think we can just pass the turn. Oh, actually, this guy needs to move out. And I just want to do... Oh, he was just on the edge. A step too far. Oh, crap. I forgot we were going to trade over. Um... We can still do that. Uh, get rid of you too. And I think we're getting rid of one pistol here. Because they are... We don't need to... Or are we just getting rid of an ogre? Maybe we're getting rid of an ogre. Although this guy is going to come and join too. Um, get over there. He'll catch up when he catches up. Oh, and he leveled as well. Nothing important. I thought we were giving him uh, the opposite squad, but no. Nope. Uh, well, we gotta get rid of something. And I think we're getting rid of an ogre eventually, but for now, a pistolier. Because I think we're getting rid of an ogre for the character. And that gives us three spots. So let's just merge those and merge like so. Hand over all of the swordsmen, and then you can go and go and rest. Because you've done your job. Thank you for your service. I appreciate it. And yeah, okay. We can just move on. No. If they take this, we're, we can just go and take it back. Because no. they're taking attrition. It's not that strong of an army. We got Carl right here. He can go down. It's fine. I just want to get to Longship Graveyard and just keep clearing out this, um, this coast. Do we go to Eilhart instead? I think Eilhart is closer. Let's go to Eilhart. And it protects Eilhart just in case. Okay, hurry up. Thank you. Oh, they... They actually attacked. Okay. Um, I guess we are... Uh, are we fighting this this turn? Because we should be able to hold this no problem, but... Do we have time? Yeah, I guess we do. So, I thought they were going to, like, sit and siege for turns and turns. Oh, they didn't even bring any towers. They just brought three battering rams. Okay. So, um, let's, first of all, put up archers all across the wall. We mm, should spread this out a little bit, because... We do have a lot of things to shoot. And honestly, don't need to be this. Um, oh, that's fine. Then we'll put swordsmen all, all across like so. And if we have to, we can just pull, pull back a crossbowman and uh, put a swordsman there instead. We'll put um, let's see. Halberds there for when they come through. Spears, wherever. And Empire Knights, wherever. Oh, right, we have this guy as well. Wherever. Good. Should do some decent damage here. And I was not expecting them to attack, but I mean, they really don't have a good army for this, so. 
we're just gonna fast forward a little bit while our tower shoots all of this stuff. Oh, um, they are shooting at the damn walls. I don't want any breaches here, so let's focus that. Should do some excellent damage to these guys pretty quick. How fast are they dealing with this? Not fast enough. So if you could just break, please. Okay, fine. Are you gonna die faster than you're breaking? Okay. Um, let's start shooting these. Yeah, okay. So, they are banging on... No, they're not banging on our gates. They're almost banging on our gates. And uh, we are about to equalize that. We have Dark Shards climbing. Okay. Uh, let's grab these guys. They can move back there. Move up. And you decided to attack... Halberds. I mean... They're not swordsmen or anything, but that's just weird. Okay, go and help. And Halberds, go in and fight there. Let's send in some swordsmen to help with... To kill these crows, that's fine. Those are dead. And the wall is holding just fine. Excellent. So, now our... Yeah, but... That was a very interesting choice, but... Um, all of the stuff is shooting, the towers are shooting, yeah, this is, this is pretty much over. We're just gonna keep piling on in there, we can keep shooting. We'll send in the knights if we have to, but yeah, let's just fast forward this. The towers and archers are gonna do so much work on this. You're gonna have to move over there because they're trying to climb. And you are very slow at killing these dark shards. And Dark Shards are trying to walk inside. Which, I mean, fine. Oh, how do they get in like this? Oh, they have some people there as well. Okay. Place you right there. We have great swords as well. Send them in. I mean, I haven't really been. <laughs> How'd you win that? Okay, fine. It's fine. I'm still just gonna fast forward this because there's no way they, they're winning this. But I did underestimate them a little bit because... Um, well, mostly because I haven't paid attention. But yeah, we're just gonna keep fast forwarding this just to deal as much damage on, the, on their way out so they can't attack again, which I don't think they can in their current state, but this is just free damage. So please die and leave my my property but yeah this this was never any threat i'm very surprised they attacked me i'm very surprised they the auto resolve gave them a like valiant or give gave me a valiant defeat so yeah that's a real quick siege so that was easy oh right sartosa attack but that's fine let them have it don't care Okay, so... Three flagellants, eh? But I don't want flagellants. They're... Kind of bad this late in the game. And we'll spend some money. That's fine. How much does it cost to improve Imperial Authority now? 3700. So, we want to get a little bit more. But, let's just... Start by... What? No. Oh. Transfer, please. Oh. Is it because we have these up? Stupid. Come on. Stop. Get out of here. There we go. Oh. There we go. And let's get you out of there. So, I kind of want to put Volkmar in one of these. Oh, and I'm actually using this guy. I'm using that. Oh, wait. I am not using that guy. I've been meaning to for a long time, but then I never got there. So. Hmm. Fine. 
Mother's Ruin is pretty good. Agreed. You're using that. As you say, sir. And or cure. Yeah. As you Let's... say, sir. Or is this the guy where? Um. Either way, let's give Volkmar the Mother's Ruin. And who the hell are you? You're Helmut Feverbach. Did we kick you out? No. He... Oh, he's the... He's the Marienburg protector. Well... Good thing you get to protect Marienburg then. Go and finish him off. Excellent. And I should really end this episode, which I'm going to do. I'm going to sit you there. I'm going to stop fast forwarding every movement. And next episode, let's see. Okay, um, this guy seems to have killed the guy. Oh, I want the, I want the uh, uh, panthers and white wolves. Just need to confederate Middenburg, Middenheim, Middenland, Middenland. <laughs> That's the name. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.